Well, you know, number one, last year all nine coaches got offered jobs. You know, we've already had a couple coordinators on offense were offered jobs. Um, and Coach Cross has been, you know, before before the recruiting season by January, every one of the guys is, has an opportunity. You know, it's what's happened is is that people watch. They're not just wanting them for their knowledge of offense and defense. You know, it's Coach Cross is going with um, Coach Odom. Coach Odom was with Coach Fuentes. And so they they do Colorado Circuit in the in the off season. Basically, Coach Fuentes took our our blueprint of how we do everything, took it to Memphis, he'll take it to Virginia Tech. And I think Coach Odom, one of the reasons with Coach Cross not only to call defenses, because uh, they're gonna run the defense that Coach Odom does, but and eventually I think they'll as it gets into it, but of all of understanding that that Damani knows how we do things here. From evaluate recruiting to uh, off-season work to how we expect to practice everything, and I think that's one of the reasons why you're going to you're going to keep seeing eventually people always wanting TCU coaches for the simple reason is that you know it's a the success and being able to do it sometimes with less than more. So, do you take it as a compliment when those guys leave? Oh yeah, I do. It's you know you don't you can't have too much loss. It's hard to keep things in place, but. You know, I think because recruiting and then players and trust and all of it. But, you know, we're, one thing that never changed is we've never changed us. I think you know, we've changed offenses. We've tweaked defenses. But still, how we practice, how we work out, how we work off in the offseason, how we do things, how we go to school, how we graduate, all those things stay the same. And so, like all good programs, um, you know, the thing that you have is that things are in place and you just plug the next guy in. And so, you know, all of them have different strengths and weaknesses. And then, you know, so when we hire somebody, that's what we look for. You mentioned the guys that have chosen to stick around. How important is that to you guys continuing this, the success well, that you've had? I mean, yeah, it's, you have to, you know, your kids, you, it's, you, you can't, it's hard to lose your, inform, your uh, knowledge guys. That's one good thing on defense is that one of the reasons I've kept calling defense is that you only, you only lose your knowledge on one side of the football. And so... All of my guys on defense can call the defense. They're all good at what they do. So Chad's exceptional, Coach Glasgow. You mentioned uh, the next guy up there too. Have you already kind of started looking out for a replacement for Damani or is Oh that- yeah. You're always you're always looking that. So but you'll uh, for for us, you know, the difference we is it won't be a co coordinator, it'll just be Chad will just go back to being coordinator. Are you involved in that at all? Do they come to you for advice and you know Oh yeah, you know or- you know, I look at taking jobs. It's, it's kind of like when I have a guy that um, wants to go out early in the draft. It's not going to be my fault. So what I do is I give him the pluses and minuses of both. But I don't try to. Uh, if I can give him some incentive, then I then I then I do up to the a point of understanding it. You got to take care of everybody. Um, but it's you know, you, know, you you try to especially young coaches that are trying to move up. Because we all, don't whether you're a coach or anything else, we all want to be wanted. And so it's just like recruits, you know, when somebody wants to, you know, it's, you get a title, you just got to make sure, especially when you get your first shot, that, and I tell people all the time, it's, is you have to fit. You know, and Damani's going back to a situation where it's, he played there, he played with the head coach, some of those are pluses, some of those are minuses sometimes. So, but it's, uh, I'm excited for him.